Well, Liam, been a cracking couple of days from a Durham point of view. It has, yeah. We're, we're in a good position in this game, so come back tomorrow, put the hard yards in and, uh, yeah, hopefully take the next eight wickets. Uh, difficult conditions this morning after the rain and the gloominess and then David Beddingham going early might have had a few people worrying but the, the rest of the players who came in did a job. I mean five half centuries in the one innings as well, that's quite an unusual occurrence. Yeah, for someone not to get the three figures was maybe a little bit strange getting the getting the big score on the board. In terms of that first sort of hour, we knew they, they were going to come hard, they had to. Uh, it was going to be a little bit in the pitch with, the, with that early weather and Hopefully they were hoping to get a couple before that new ball came, but yeah, the lads lads did well. What was the situation with Sean Dixon? Because he needed a runner, didn't he? He hurt, him, hurt his leg or his foot on about 12, was it his Achilles? Or uh, he did? I, th I think it's his calf, I'm not 100%. Right. So, yeah, I uh, think it's his calf. Okay. So you then had to come in and uh, yourself and Ben Rain did a job after he'd gone and Ned Eckersley had gone, just carry that uh, score up and be on 500. I mean, it's not often that Durham score 500 either. No, that's the first time I've been involved in 500 in a, in a first team game anyway, so yeah, it's good, good from the lads really, got a big score on the board, we've bowled really well on, on day one to get ourselves in this position, so yeah, just been a good place and got a over 400 lead going, going into this uh, innings. Yeah, I was asked on air just a few minutes ago, because I remember the last time five Durham players got half centuries in the one innings, I mean it's not off the top of my head, but I do recall in 2016, the first five at the Oval did on a, on a fairly flat track, but it, it's unusual for something like that to happen here. And I, I, I suppose you probably haven't got those statistics at hand. It's something that probably wasn't discussed at the dressing group. Yeah, I just, I'll just take your word for it there. That's not something that I know. Obviously, 2016 was before I'd played, so yeah, I'll take your word for it. Mm. And nice to get a game in the Championship as well after you featured so heavily in the T20 and the One Day Cup. Yeah, absolutely. It was sort of first my first experience of this, this year, which Obviously, it's a good moment. I haven't played since sort of two years ago, which is exciting for me to to come in and try and put a sort of a hold on a position uh, in the first team. The lads have been going really well this year, uh, so yeah, exciting for me to come in. Uh, Coggers came back from injury, so that was really exciting to see him in ball well. Uh, yeah, happy, happy as we can be, really. Yeah, I think it's only your 12th match, isn't it, in, the, in first class cricket? Yeah, I think that's about right. Somewhere yeah. around there. I haven't played too much, but still only young, so yeah, yeah, yeah. hopefully more to come. And uh, more to come in this game, you're in a really massively strong position. I think they're still 335 behind, two wickets down in their second innings. Um, definitely talk of a, a three-day win. I mean, you have been in positions before where the pitch flattens out or whatnot, but surely Durham will be hoping they can wrap this up in three days. I've just got to go through the process, really. You keep building pressure. They're allowed to bat well. They've got some really good players in, in their dressing room. and Yeah, they're allowed to play well. We've just got to sit there for long enough and sort of, yeah, just create enough opportunities to, to win this game. Yeah, and, and patience sometimes comes into it, doesn't it? I mean, yesterday morning, they were 63 for one. They had a, a decent partnership going and then a bit of patience and suddenly the wickets came your way again. Yeah, that's how the game goes, really. Got off to a bit, little bit of a flyer, really, for what Riverside run rates usually are and then pegged it back, a couple of wickets and they were walking off with them. It was a 97, 97 all out. So, couldn't, couldn't, have, been, uh, couldn't have been a better first day, really. Mm. One thing that could happen tomorrow is uh, Chris Rushworth getting his 50th wicket of the season, which would be yet another landmark for him. He's been a talisman for Durham for such a long time now. Yeah, world class in my opinion. Uh, just keeps doing it year on year on year. Keeps breaking records, turns up, balls the overs, puts the yards in. Just keeps taking poles really. Just, uh, just one of the best bowlers in the country.